Okay, so what kind of project do you have for us today? Well, I've got a couple of pieces that I want to cut. So I've got this uh, fascia for a toilet seat and I want to make a nice cut across here. And for a later project, I've also got a sheet of aluminium that I want to cut. So you've got a track saw, David. Oh, I shouldn't be able to cut one out. Well, you'd think that would be a good idea. The only problem being is I'm cutting aluminium and plastic and I don't have an aluminium cutting blade on the track saw. So you've got a jigsaw, why don't you break that one out, David? Well, I could, but I'm not going to get a very nice finish on here. And because of the style of toilet seat I've got, that bit of plastic's going to be shown, so I want a, a really nice finish. So I want something that's got an aluminium cutting blade on it. Well, you've got an aluminium cutting blade on your circular saw, don't you? Yep, that's right. I've got a multi-material blade on my circular saw. Only problem being is, it's going to be really dangerous and hard to cut this piece of plastic. So that gets us to today's project. What I'm going to do is to build a track for the circular saw so that I can cut a nice straight edge, nice and safe. So this sounds a bit like an expensive or a difficult project. What do we need for it then, David? Well, you don't really need much of this project. First thing you're going to need is a straight edge and then a nice piece of melamine board that's got a smooth surface down one side. So why did you use a piece of melamine, David? Because I'm going to be sliding the circular saw along, I wanted a nice smooth, friction-free surface. So the melamine will be quite good for that. So as we've seen, the distance from the blade to the edge of the circular saw is 10 centimetres. My piece of melamine's 29 and a half centimetres. So if this was the two bits of melamine I've got cut, now all I do is I just lay that one on top like that and glue that. And then that distance here needs to be greater than 10 centimetres. So if I take a 29 and a half board, cut off 9 centimetres, then I'm left with uh, 11 and a half centimetres. So that's quite good. So what that means is when we come to uh, take a cut, and you'll see this later, that it will actually cut off a nice straight edge along there that's parallel to this edge here. So let's give that a go. So now I need to lay a straight edge so that I can cut off this uh, smooth part here. So to achieve that, I need to judge where my circular saw is going to go. So, so if I'm going to cut like that, then the distance between the blade and the edge here is 3.7 centimetres. So I just have to make sure that my straight edge is 3.7 centimetres away from this 9 centimetre bit that I want to cut off. So 9 plus 3.7 is 12.7 so I'll just mark 12.7 and 12.7 on this side and I'll just mark one in the measure just to make sure that I've done it right okay so all three marks on that line up so it doesn't really matter if this edge is parallel to the edge or not um, one of the reasons so I want to make it parallel is because if I want to use the circular saws uh, uh, parallel guide to stop the saw wandering then if I have this straight, then it means I, I've got the ability to use that. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is, let's just set the depth. So this piece of material is how thick? Uh, 16 millimetres thick. So that's going about 19. Okay, so that's going to cut a few millimetres into the scrap wood below. So what's next then, David? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the glue up. So we'll just double check that that blade is going to be inside the melamine there. And that's good. So that means we've got everything cut up nice. And because the melamine's slidey, I want to rough up this melamine so that the glue's going to take. So I just want to rough up this bit here. The underside of the bit that we're going to glue and the rest of this. What I'm going to do next is to drill some holes to allow me to screw that to that plate there. And then I'm going to countersink the holes. And then I'll just repeat that for all of these. That's all the holes countersink now. And now we just want to make sure that the surfaces are going to glue are free from any dust. I don't have any wood glue left, so I'm just going to use some construction adhesive. Now I just want to make sure that this white melamine surface here 
this face in front. And now I'll just get some clamps to clamp that up. So now that's clamped up, I'll just wipe off any excess glue that's coming out. And another important thing is just to put a straight edge along here because you want to make sure that when you clamp this up that you're clamping up so this piece of wood is perfectly straight. So that's what's going to give you your straight edge when you're cutting. And that looks nice. So I'll just clean this up some more. Okay, so now that's clamped in place, we'll just screw this together. And I'll just repeat that for the rest of the screws and then I'll clean up any oozing that's coming out. So what's next, David? So next we just got to run the circular saw along this edge to make a zero clearance track. Let's see how we did here. Okay, so what this means now is when we want to cut anything, we will just be able to mark a line on whatever it is we want to cut. Line this up against the edge and then we'll be able to just cut along that line. So we'll mark a line along here where we want to cut. We'll place the track saw up against that. And I'll just clamp that in place. Okay, so let's cut this now. There we go, it's cut along that line. So I think we could call that one a result. Cheerio.